What is good, Jacob? Here today with the Adidas X15.1, which is completely new and made for the chaos-inducing game changer with this tech fit color as one of the big things. Now mine is a blackout test model, but this is what the final design looks like. And yes, it is rather bold, but is it any good? And how does it feel like? Let's go find out and cause some chaos. Now, to be honest with you guys, when I first saw the X, I wasn't completely sure because I didn't really care for the design nor the tech fit color, but I was surprised. Because with the X, Adidas focused on giving you a great fit with this soft, pliable X skin synthetic upper, but also this high top tech fit color that's made to wrap your heel and your midfoot and thus give you compression and a snug fit. And that is exactly what you get because this X skin upper is equipped with a nice suede-like inner lining and also it is incredibly soft and pliable so it molds really well around your foot even straight out of the box and on top of all that the tech fit color gives you a smooth transition between the classic feel of a boot to a more sock-like distractionless fit that means, in other words, that you get the comfort of this close, snug fit without any restrictions at all. And it kind of reminds me a bit of what a shorter version of the Dynamic Fit Color would feel like. In other words, I am very impressed. Also, the rather padded tech fit lining in the heel and the suede-like grippy insole gets a lot of points because they keep your foot pretty well in place while still feeling a bit like a slipper. Slipper's good. I like slippers. Also, there's this lava lamp inspired whatever cage on the outside and the inside of the boot, which is the X cage, which is meant to give you lockdown. And while it does an okay job of giving you some sort of stability on the upper, that's kind of it. Don't get me wrong, it does its job, but I could have done with a little bit more lockdown to be honest. Size-wise, the X feels pretty true to size. I went with my usual size 40 and the fit is dead on perfect for my relatively narrow foot. Now the last also feels a bit like the one used on the F50 with a slightly wide toe box. So the X is gonna fit a lot of people except for the most wide-footed players out there. <laughs> The X also brings Adidas' brand new FGAG stud pattern to the play, which means that you can finally use the boot on both surfaces. Pretty cool, actually. But also, the stud configuration here is called the X Claw, and it kind of builds on the idea from the F50 with a lot of extra little studs under the midfoot to follow the roll of your foot when you push off. And it actually, just like on the F50, works pretty well because you feel that extra amount of grip in the vital area under the midfoot when you push off, it is a right pleasure. The grip in the X is also relatively aggressive thanks to the bladed studs. And that also means that if I have to choose, I prefer to use the X on FG rather than AG. It still does a pretty good job on both though. And continuing with this aggressive grip made for acceleration and speed, the plate is also relatively stiff. That means you have a good solid base when you push off hard. Now all of this also means that you do go down a bit on the flexibility when twisting and turning, but it is a trade-off I can live with. And pushing off in this is the right pleasure. On the ball, the X is also quite interesting because the inner lining on the X skin means that you get a soft, padded, but also still pretty precise touch on the ball. It is a thin synthetic after all. Actually, a bit like the one we saw on the last F50. Some of you might recognize that. But that also means that you get a quite elegant touch on the ball, but still it sits so relatively tight all over your foot. So you also have that close feel for the ball as well. Also, the X features this all over dimply NSG texture for non-stop grip on the ball. And it actually delivers because you get just enough friction, even in the wet, to give you that small bit of extra confidence when you dribble. It sounds like a small detail, but it actually means a lot. And no, 
This is not Kevlar in the upper. It's just a really cool graphic that looks like it. Shooting wise, the slightly padded upper on the X takes away some of this thing when you strike the ball really, really hard. But other than that, it's a pretty straightforward experience. The X has got a good weight to it, a clean striking zone, and it doesn't feel bulky when you strike the ball at all. And making these hard, clean strikes feel really, really good, like this. Yes, Adidas have made a bold move. And no, the design might not be for everyone. But having said that, the X is a downright awesome boot where 50 users will feel right at home despite the weight going up to 215 grams. And the best I can say is that I constantly wanted the ball to take on my direct opponent, which is everything I want from a boot like this. But what do you guys think about the X? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, X marks the spot on, 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 on.